that we're talking about for next week too. So very quickly again, active in the Atlantic, several spots to watch as well as the two named storms. And of course, the one that we have our eye on for the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf Coast areas just that we're watching right now. That would be Invest 98, still an area of investigation, still not a depression or storm yet, although it does have a high chance of becoming one in the next several days. So again, Friday, somewhere around here, fast forward to Sunday. And actually, I think this is when we will know a lot more about what's going to happen with the system. Once it gets into this general central part of the Caribbean and actually will be a developed storm by then. So we do have several days still just Wednesday to watch it until it gets to this point. And then, as I said, if it does emerge toward the Gulf, a lot of people have been asking when would that happen? Potentially, it would be Tuesday to Wednesday, but that's not set in stone, particularly if it curves off a little bit earlier and maybe goes toward Cuba or Florida, maybe eventually gets into the extreme southeastern Gulf by the middle of next week. But the big thing will be the steering pattern showing where it's going to go. And the big features that we have are the two highs, one out to the west and then the big high over the Atlantic Ocean with this trough of low pressure that will dig down potentially and kind of pull it to the north. Now, this is a steering pattern for the mid to end of next week. So this could change all these different players, the highs, the lows, the troughs, they could easily change. I'm just trying to give you something to work with uh, as we just look at what it might be for late next week. So this is from the European model and you can see it taking that turn actually pretty early and maybe becoming a, an issue potentially for Cuba or Florida with whatever this system has turned into by then. Note though the GFS model for the same time frame on Thursday of next week has it a little bit different. The high displaced a little bit farther to the west if it actually builds a bit more east that would be good over there. And then of course this high tracking around whatever the placement of this one is will be a big determining factor for where the system eventually goes as well. So the Q&A, where will it end up? Oh, we all want to know. It's too early to say, though, just yet. The system hasn't even formed, and you need that center of circulation for models to start doing a better job. So the models you're looking at, they will very likely change. When could it reach the Gulf? As I just said, next week, probably Tuesday or Wednesday if it does. And when will we know more and have a better idea? I think over the weekend, certainly Sunday and Monday, we'll have a much better idea. The next names are Ermine and then Ian and Julia, by the way. Let's go back to Fiona really quickly, though. It's a category four storm, very powerful, very obvious eye, of course, tightening up as it moves off to the north. It's expected to pass just west of Bermuda, likely as a category four. And then this will be a significant storm for parts of Canada. It will reach eastern Nova Scotia and likely will not be fully tropical then. It won't be technically a hurricane, perhaps, as it will take on some other features, but it could still have category two winds. It might weaken over the Gulf of St. Lawrence and then might reach Quebec or Newfoundland as a low pressure system, much weakened, but still with some tropical storm force winds. And very quickly, Gaston is out there. It's a tropical storm, might make a loop around the Azores, but expected to weaken by Sunday and Monday. So a lot to talk about, but actually our forecast is looking just fine. You can see the chance for rain there on Sunday as that little front moves in. And I think